Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. My name is Pablo Stanley. This is part of a crash course on Framer, a tool for designing and prototyping projects. On this video, we're going to get an overview of the design tab in Framer. We'll learn how to add simple layers, how to use the canvas, and adding artboards. Nice and easy stuff. Let's get started. If you haven't installed Framer, just open your browser and go to framer.com. There, you will be able to find a free trial button, and this free trial will last you for 15 days, so you can try it before you actually buy it. Pretty cool. Once you have installed Framer, let's just open it. And here you will see in the starting screen, there are many uh, different projects that allow you to open and explore the different possibilities of what Framer can do. And also you will see links to different resources and also some help. Let's just start by adding a new project. Create new, file, create new. Okay, so now we're in Framer. And here in Framer, you're going to notice here on the top two tabs, design and code. Here, it opens by default on the design tab. And you will find that it's pretty similar to Sketch or other design tools, where it has tools, it has a layers list, and it has a properties panel. Let's move on to the code panel. And here on the code panel, you have uh, different things you, where you add your code, a preview, and add uh, different states, events, and animations. Let's go back to the design panel, and let's add an artboard. So I'm going to just press A. And here you'll receive shortcuts to different common device sizes. I'm going to select Apple iPhone. There you go. Now we created our first artboard. And here on the first artboard, we can add layers. So we can add a rectangle oval text. Let's add a rectangle. Just press the rectangle tool and I can start just dragging and adding a rectangle. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. There you go, half the size of the artboard. And then I'm going to add a text layer. Just going to say learning, learning framer. There you go. Once you have selected one of these layers, the properties panel changes and gives you the properties of this specific layer. For example, this one it has a fill of blue, doesn't have a border, doesn't have a shadow, but I can turn them on or off. Also, it gives me the position, the size, and all the basic stuff. Here, when I select a text layer, it gives me the different properties of a text layer that we will be used to find. For example, the typeface, the weight, the size, the text alignment, the spacing, color, all of those. Another cool thing is that you have here access to icons. Pressing the icons button here on the bottom left, then you have access to all of these icons that you can add to your prototype or to your design. I'm going to add a camera. I'm just going to put the camera here. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, run there and center it to the background layer. There you go. And I'm going to change it instead of black to white. Now let's see the layers panel. When I select one of these uh, artboards, you will see all the layers that are inside that artboard here on the layers list. I have this one selected, I have the rectangle selected, and I have the icon selected. So I'm going to change the name of this rectangle to change it to background. Pretty basic stuff. Continue watching to learn more about the design tab.